Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Make It With Me Monday. Uh, my apologies, last Monday ended up being uh, an, a different situation uh, that took me out of town and I wasn't able to do live and the rest of my week has just gotten away from me. So you're going to have a bonus uh, Make It With Me Monday here where I had already planned to take Memorial Day off and instead we're just going to do what we were supposed to do last week Monday. <laughs> All right, so starting out, I'm the ones I'm going to show on camera are going to be cut from the Round We Go bundle. Um, it has a stamp set and a set of dies, and they make these really fun uh, circle shapes, but then also, as you can see, these like 3D rosette medallions. And if you signed up um, for Stampin' Into Summer, you will be seeing some of this again and uh, making your own with my make and take, so that'll be fun. And then the last ones I'm showing are gonna be from Labeled With Love. Now this is kind of a unique bundle collection. It's on page 58 and you have a choice with this bundle. You can either get the stamp set with a punch or you can get a stamp set with dies and you will get three of the same identical die, just like that, or you can get it with a punch. Now the neat part is that these are also sold separately. So you can bundle one and then for the extra $23, you can go ahead and get the other and then you have both options at your fingertips. All right, let me get those out of the way here. Um, I realized I'm up at my our lake house for the weekend. We're enjoying, well, we enjoyed one nice day. <laughs> the rest of it has been a little bit rainy, um, but Zach got out on the boat and that made him quite, quite happy. Um, I realized though, as when I came up here, I'd forgotten to bring my round we go stamp set. So the phrase I'm gonna show on camera is actually coming from labeled with love. I'm gonna be using this happy birthday stamp. Okay, so here's what we need to get make our project tonight. You need to have a piece of neutral cardstock that is four and a quarter by 11. I have a thick basic white and you're gonna score that at five and a half, which is basically in the middle. And then you wanna have a circle that's approximately two and a half inches. And I said circle because it's easy. You guys probably have dies or punches that can make that shape for you. If you wanna make that any other kind of shape, just keep it in about that two to two and a half inch size. You can use a square, you can use a die cut, you could use um, a focal point image of anything that you want, but that's about the size that you want it to be. And then a piece of designer series paper that's three by five and a quarter. I am taking a piece from the Full of Life designer series paper. Um, it's my new favorite and go-to in this catalog. Such bright colors, so much fun, uh, great patterns. I love using this one. Then you need a, a piece of cardstock that's light enough to stamp on. That is one and a quarter by four and a quarter. We're gonna be using it horizontally and you want your phrase to be about an inch and a half long because your focal point or your circle is gonna be covering up some of that as well. Uh, I have crushed curry. And then you need a rectangle that's two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And you can decide if you want a second piece of designer series paper or a second piece of cardstock. I have blueberry bushel cardstock here for my second piece. And then some of my other samples use a combination of the DSP and the cardstock. So you'll see some of that in my samples. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I have some old school supplies up here, so I'm going to have to use my mono adhesive. <laughs> so it's been a while since you've probably heard that sound. Uh, of uh, when you're stamping. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna make, um, you're gonna decorate up your circle. So I'm gonna take my crushed curry ink and I'm gonna take this, it's almost daisy-like except that it definitely have, has points. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that down here. And I have a little bit of a wiggly table so I'm gonna make sure that it's got a pretty good impression. There we go. And I need to clean it off. So I'm sorry if it's shaking, but I gotta clean off my stamp because I'm gonna do this again in my blueberry bushel. And because this is photopolymer, it'll be easy for us to line up, which is really one of the really nice things about those photopolymer sets. And I put the light one down first because it was easier for me to see the dark over the light when I'm going to head lining that up and I'm watching the center and then just trying to land that right in between. I think I overlapped on one little spot there, but not too bad. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna try that again though because I know I did it better than that the first time. <laughs> and meanwhile, hopefully you are just finding what you need for your project and getting that done in there. All right, so there is my crushed curry. Here we go again with my blueberry. And whatever this one turns out to be, we're just gonna go ahead and use for the sake of camera. All right, there we go, that one's better. And then I'm also going to take I'm done with my crushed curry, so I'm going to cover that up. I'm going to take this little circle image into my blueberry, and then now I have a center of my flower. 
which is what that kind of reminds me of. <laughs> All right, so I can go ahead and set that aside. Then go ahead and grab that one and a quarter inch wide piece and your phrase of choice. And let's put that on the right side. I am so sorry about the wiggly table, guys. Hopefully it's not too distracting. <laughs> all right, so that is all the stamping that you are gonna need to do. So for assembly, you're gonna start with your card base. And we're gonna go ahead and burnish that score line. Okay. And then we're gonna attach our designer series paper. See, aren't, isn't this full of life paper so much fun? Look at all those colors. You definitely want to get your hands on this. And it's a six by six size, so it works really nicely with all kinds of projects. All right, so we're going to put that on the left half. Then we're going to go ahead and put some adhesive either on your second piece of designer series paper or your second piece of cardstock, whichever you brought. And we're going to add it right about here. So a little bit, not quite half and not quite half, okay? So it's like a not quite halfway down, not quite halfway over the pattern right there, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and a quarter piece and we are gonna line it up so that it covers a little bit of the bottom. You can decide how low you want it to be or how high you want it to be, but you don't want the blue showing or your, whatever color yours is. <laughs> so you don't want that piece to be showing through, okay? So I'm gonna put that about there. And then my focal point image goes right there. I am gonna pop mine up on dimensionals, I think, because I just like that little bit of lift you know how that goes. A little bit of dimension is always a favorite of mine. Okay. And there you go. So that is the simplest version. Um, so again, you could use two pieces of designer series paper. You could use uh, a second cardstock color here. You could do things to the cardstock or the designer series paper that you want to, as you can see in the samples that I've made for you. Okay, whoops, you don't need to see my cheat sheet. <laughs> All right, so there's our on-camera sample. Uh, this next one, I used Friends for Life, which is the suite that the DSP comes from. Um, so I've had the Friends of Life stamp set, which is where I got the shape and the word love you. And then as part of the dies, I've gotten the outline and the solid heart that I've done in Petunia Pop. And then uh, these papers, of course, come from the, the uh, Friends for Life designer series paper. And then I have a little bit of Petunia Pop ribbon. And as you can see, I've flipped... The, the orientation here. So just the focus is on the right and then the words on the left. So of course, orientation stuff, you can do whatever one you like. Uh, this next one here, I am using the Wildflower Suite. Uh, I went ahead and did a lot of extra touches with this one. So I have designer series paper here and here and here. But then as you can see, hopefully, what I did once I had the pieces of designer series paper adhered, I ran the entire thing through an embossing folder. So it all has the distressed tile embossing folder on all three layers of that. Then I used, so basic beige is my neutral here. And instead of having the circle show through, I have it tucked behind. And I've added some of uh, those little butterflies and a little bit of baker's twine. And then I also added just a little bit of dot doodling with my marker. All right, so then Here's the first one featuring labels of love that I just talked about earlier. And this one features with the zinnia, or flowering zinnias, sorry, designer series paper. Now that is an online only exclusive. Um, if, you are, if you love zinnias, you are definitely gonna love this paper. Lots of really bright, pretty colors. I am using Berry Burst and Lemon Lolly. And again, um, instead, as you can see, instead of the circle, I use the punch as my focal point, colored my butterfly in with my blends. Um, and then I added a little bit of background texture to this, but well not texture, but um, I used the dotted images from there, which is this little square with all these little dots and shapes on it. And I stamped it tone on tone. So it just has lemon lolly on top of lemon lolly to give that a little bit of texture, visual texture, if you want to call it that. Um, and then I also have, um, what were they called? The rainbow dots. I've added a few of those into the centers of the zinnias and one over here. And then this baker's twine comes from the trio, the trio pack that has the lemon lolly as part of it. Okay. And then last one before we get to my stepped up version, very similar concept, except I created my own sort of DSP here by stamping the tiny presents that are in this stamp set repeatedly in Melon Mambo, Gorgeous Grape, and Highland Heather. 
And then this piece is one of the backsides from the one of the zinnia pieces. So the lab, the Highland Heather and the Melon Mambo are the focus with just a little bit of granny apple green thrown in there for good measure. And I added some rhinestones to my tag. And I did stamp this down below under there, but then I stamped and cut it out again to give it just a little bit of lift and a little bit of dimension there. Okay, so again, you can decide if you want these shapes to always be a circle, if you want them to be something else like a heart, or you can take advantage of your uh, punches, your dies, and that sort of thing to create some kind of shape to fill in this area here. Um, oh, and then I forgot to mention, I ran this through the Zinnia embossing folder as well. So there I did add some dimension to my cardstock, collect, my second piece of cardstock as well. All right, let's go back to the first one here. And just to step it up, um, all I really did was I switched out to a DSP, again from the same collection, and I added a layer of blueberry bushel behind my DSP and a piece of white behind this DSP. And then I took this and ran it through the uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine and die cut this piece out instead of just having it be a part of my circle. And then and the, for the center part, I did die cut that out of blueberry bushel and I added just a little touch of Wink of Stella to make it really pretty and cute. So that's basically the difference there for stepping up this imagery here. You can decide um, which orientation you want to go with and what color combinations or combination of paper, DSP, etc. Um, it's a great way to use up basic parts. Um, so like I said, this paper is six by six, so you just cut it in half and then cut a little bit off and you get your three by five and a quarter and you can get two of them out of one sheet so you can easily duplicate this layout and make two at a time very, very easily. All right, everybody, I hope you have had a good long weekend. Um, hopefully you have better weather than we do over here in Wisconsin. Uh, yesterday, Saturday was our only good day. And then we have rain the rest of the weekend. But we're together as a family hanging out and playing games and watching movies and just spending some really great time together. So I hope you had a lovely weekend. Um, my gratitude goes out to those who um, have given of themselves and the reason we are focusing on Memorial Day in the first place. All right, that's it for me now. And I will see you guys again next week, Monday, where all of a sudden it's June. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. See you later.